Right lads, it's a big game today, West Ham v Burnley. We're going to the away day, of course. I'm going to predict a 2-0 West Ham. I think Antonio will score a brace. Um, he's not scored in a while, so I think he'll pop up with a few goals today. We are on a nice run of form. We have just beat Chelsea in the league now. But we did lose to Dynamo Zagreb in the week. But that was because we played the young players, who actually did very well to him, to be fair. So hopefully we can get the win today. It's going to take us about two hours to get there. So hopefully it'll all be worth it. Come on, you Irons. <laughs> Look how class this pub is, the Royal Dice. It's got Dice as a king on. How legendary. Big shout out to Burnley for that. You can finally see the ground in the distance now. We need to find somewhere to get some food actually before the game. So I'm going to hunt down some food right now. So at this point, there was a lot of noise going on. So I'll give you a food review right now. Um, it was actually very nice. Not as good as Man City, but a bit cheaper. And you wouldn't expect Burnley to be as good as Man City, to be fair. And you know it's a football burger when the cheese on the burger isn't even melted. But it was decent, to be fair. So we headed to the turnstile now. It was really easy to park in Burnley, to be fair, and then walk to the ground. However, leaving, I think me and my dad were stuck in Burnley for an extra hour trying to get out. The traffic was that bad, but... At this point, we had big expectations and we were hoping we could get the win on the away day. We've gone for the boring Diet Coke and here's the dad. He's having a sip of his coffee, of course, staying warm. Very important. Uh, but hopefully we can get the win. Come on, you Irons. Here's our view for today's game, it's absolutely cracking. If we score a goal in the second half and the celebrations go down right here, we'll be absolutely loving life. So hopefully that happens. I'm going 2-0 again, Antonio with both goals. Hopefully we can do well today. Right, so the line is pretty much unchanged from normal. However, Creswell is in just a he's played. He's got no defensive awareness, so we're going to have a lot of the ball. And Lanzini's played over four now, so it's been Lanzini's been great form, so hopefully we can get this done. Come on, you want. I like my dreams, they fade and die. Oh, to so exciting. I looked everywhere. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Really bubbles in the air. United. Right, we're back home now and I can't believe, right, I predicted Antonio to score two goals. Never mind him scoring one. He was never going to score two. He was absolutely awful. He was a major, major donkey. and I can't even describe how bad he was. I haven't even got any other clips during the game because there was no point. It was nil-nil. No one even scored. I'm not going to show you just the pitch. What's the point? You may as well just look at the beginning of the game. It wasn't a bad performance. I thought Vlasic did well when he came on, but we just literally couldn't break down Burnley. We are poor in the first half, much better in the second. So hopefully we can go and beat Arsenal on Wednesday, fingers crossed.